Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator strategist, trainer, and coach. And the question I got just now is, Teddy, how do I fix the associated image for one of my website pages when I post a LinkedIn and it's showing the wrong image? Before I show you how to solve with this feature image issue, hit the subscribe button because I have a whole lot more content on how to use LinkedIn and Sales Navigator as business tools, and I create it just for you. So here's a web, here's one of my pages, my LinkedIn coaching page. And the first image that shows up is this image. Now, if you notice, there are other images. These, each of these are an image. They're not text, they're images. Now, when I go to LinkedIn to post this, watch what happens. So I'm not getting the image that I want to get. I hope to get this first image, but I'm not. So, and then I don't have a feature image on this page. And so if I, but if I go to add a feature image, edit the page, this is WordPress, and I'm not trying to teach you WordPress here, but I'm gonna go get a feature image. It's this image right, where is it? Right here, set the feature. And if I update the page, now you'll see that I have a feature image. It happens to be the same image that's here, but I have a feature image. So now if I grab that and copy it, and go back to LinkedIn, let's refresh this. post that URL so you can't do it but here's the problem the problem is the LinkedIn system has cached that uh, uh, URL without an image so we've got to fix that or it may have cached it with a different image and we got to fix it because we've changed the image let me show you how to fix this I'm on a page called LinkedIn's post inspector this is what it is, LinkedIn's post inspector. You can see this is the last page that I did some work on. I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna update it and inspect. So you can see it's grabbed an image now, whereas before it didn't have an image. Now if I go back to LinkedIn, because I've told it to recache, if I go back to LinkedIn and I paste that, it's gonna pull the image. Actually, it looks pretty decent here for me. So. So Post Inspector finds this image, and now when I post to LinkedIn, it's going to show that image. But let's say I don't want that image. Let's get rid of that. Let's go try it again. So now, if I go back to my website, and I edit this page, and I change my feature image, and I use this image, and I update the document, and view the document, you'll see the change, the images change. Now, if I go back to LinkedIn and I go to post that, it's still pulling the old image. However, watch what happens. Discard that, go back to Post Inspector, do an inspect again, we refresh. It's got the new image. Now, if I go to LinkedIn and I paste because Post Inspector updated the cache and went and looked at the document again or the web page again and got the new image. So the magic to the issue is A, make sure you have the right image of uh, the first image or the featured image you want. B, if you change the image, then you're going to have to use Post Inspector to have uh, LinkedIn go check it again. Uh, and lastly, if you if your images that are embedded uh, throughout the document don't show up right, then you may be forced to put an image, a featured image, if you have the ability to do that. But the magic is for individual posting is Post Inspector to get it to go recache. Here's another way of dealing with the wrong image showing up when you post to LinkedIn, but this feature today only works on LinkedIn company pages. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to, I'm going to get rid of this. I go to my LinkedIn company page. And let's say I want to post that uh, same link and I didn't refresh to get it to work. So on a, uh, now I've refreshed the post inspector, so it's pulling the right image, but let's say I don't want that image. Posting to a company page, I have this opportunity. Hit the pencil, hit this image button. I'm gonna go get any image, just any image for the sake of an image. 
and I change the image. So, and then I can hit done and I can confer, go further and continue my post and I can manually change the image associated with that post on a LinkedIn company page post. And by the way, when I do this, this is different than posting. If I put an image on a, uh, a regular individual post, if I go view this, if I change that image on a individual personal profile post, that image is not a hyperlink. But on the LinkedIn company page, it is a hyperlink. If I click on that, it's gonna go, you look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, BurrisConsulting.com slash LinkedIn coaching. Again, I repeat, on a personal profile, let me delete this and show you what, what, how it won't work on a personal profile. If I go back to the top and I post that, okay, and I pull that image up and I don't want that image, then what I have to do is I, I can't I can't change it. There's no, there's no pencil to change it and there's no camera. So all I can do is delete that and then go get another image. Again, I'm gonna go get any old image hit done, I have alt text and all that I could have done. And then I can put the word testing here and hit post. Now, unlike a company page post, this image is no longer a hyperlink. If I click on that, it just shows me the image. Um, actually, it would just show me the Im image, but I, it's not a hyperlink. This is the hyperlink. It's just not associated with the image. Now, looking at this uh, post in my activity, which is the closest I can do to look at it in someone else's newsfeed, here's the post, here's the image, kind of looks like it's a hyperlink, but it's not. Look what happens when I click. It brings up a bigger uh, presentation of the post, a bigger presentation of the image, but it's not a hyperlink. The URL is right over here. Company page post, I can change the image of the hyperlink. Personal post, can't change the image and make it a hyperlink. So again, in summary, if you're posting a link to your web, con your content, and it doesn't bring up the right image, then you may be forced to put a featured image. Uh, if it, if you change the image, then you're going to have to use Post Inspector, LinkedIn's Post Inspector, and I'll put the URL in the YouTube video to uh, get LinkedIn to go recache that article or that URL with the new image. And the last little tip is. When you post to a personal profile, you can't change the image during the posting of LinkedIn. Like when you post, unlike when you post to a company page on LinkedIn, you can change the featured image when you're posting to LinkedIn. I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn and Sales Navigator strategist, trainer, and coach, and I hope this is helpful for you.